The movie takes place between episode 46 and episode 47 of the series. We see Yukimi and Genta going on a trip for Yukimi's birthday. On the plane, we get to meet a pregnant jewel tiger and Nuzumo, the dude from the Chimera special. But suddenly, the plane gets hijacked by Kai from Ultraman Powered. I understand. Your Ultraman needed to leave, but going on to a life of crime isn't the way, Kai. Come on. I am probably the only person that's going to cover this movie and use an Ultraman powered reference. I don't care about that. In my opinion, this is a much better reference than Ninja Black. All joking aside, his actual name is Azuma. He's the other person next to Akashi that Give entrusted them to watch over humanity. And that means killing a Japanese warlord, a strange looking Napoleon. Come on guys, I don't believe it's that hard to find an actual person that semi looks like Napoleon and somehow being responsible for the Lincoln assassination. Yes, this a part of history is now a part of revised lore now. Azuma's group kidnapped both the Igarashi parents, but it was just a ploy to bring the Igarashi siblings to them. And on their way they are, with the help of Hiromi and George. Why Azuma needs the three siblings? Well, since the fit of GIF, his body starts rotting, so he needs more GIF cells. And Genta doesn't have any GIF cells anymore. The three arrive to Area 666. Once a Noah facility, they start fighting a bunch of Gif Juniors, and then Azuma shows up and transforms into Kamarada Daimon, and he proceeds to kick all three siblings' asses, so much they untransforms. And then Azuma split the demons from the siblings and mind controlling them. And by that action, he creates the most terrifying demon in the show by adult Lovko. This shit is my sleep paralysis demon. The demons captures the three siblings and they get brought over to Chix's laboratory. Chix is George's and Masamune's demon. Chix's laboratory is also where the Igarashi parents are being held. The operation slash ritual starts. The siblings give cells surround the room, but suddenly Nozomo arrives and steals the chimera driver from Chick. Yukimi tells them to go on and save the hostages that are still in the plane. In anger, Chick leashes the demon on the siblings, but Yukimi had enough of it and she got angry enough to unleash her own demon that purified the siblings' demons. Yes, Yukimi has a demon that's strong enough to stop a mind control by a Gifai. Somehow. In my subsequent watches, it was never explained how and why she has this powerful of a demon. But if you really think about it, Genta had Gif cells and the siblings got Gif cells. Maybe somehow she got it from that? Again, never explained. Like, it was never even explained in the series. In the purification process, the Thunder Gale Vice Temp got upgraded to the 50 Gale Vice Temp that fuses the three siblings into Kamen Rider Igarashi. Kamen Rider Igarashi defeats an army of Gift Juniors and true Giftarians, while Kamen Rider Chimera fights the Mandrill Deadman and defeats it. But Azuma appears and he kicks the living shit out of him, untransform, and just take his Chimera Driver back. Absolutely embisoning him. For Nazumo, the day that his parents died was the most important day of his life. For Azuma, it was just Tuesday. But when it looks all lost, suddenly Ace appears somehow, and he continues to kick the living shit out of a bunch of Gif Juniors and he finished them all off by using the boost Grand Victory. Before he leaves, Azuma asks him what's his name. He tells him that he is Kamarada Gitz, but probably he wouldn't believe him. Well, I have a lot of questions about that and that is mostly because I'm watching this movie with the hindsight that Kamarada Gitz is running right now. And pretty much my biggest question is, is there a game running stupidly close to the Area 666? Like we've never seen any of the riders using the Desire Driver outside of the DGP. So having a game being close by kind of makes sense, if it's true. I hope it is but also it would make guys like Akashi look really dumb 
Like, you are the overseer of humanity. You never heard about the Jamato. You never heard about the DGP. How the hell Phoenix is not somehow sponsoring or having riders in the DGP? Y you see where this entire cameo I can just break down and making it look really stupid? But I hope it's true that this is the same game that's related to Gitz's first episode. That first game where we meet Nago and Keiwa for the first time. That would be really cool. And I love the little touch of Ace saying I hope you would forget about this world. So that means probably around that time they had a little bit of the basis down of the series. Because one of the other things that didn't really happen, Gates used a victory grain strike. The boost buckle didn't fly away. How? Everybody camps around and there is a really great conversation between Genta and Nozumo about what happened in the Chimera special and Genta telling him that bravery and recklessness are two completely different things, while Yukumi is talking to Yomo, aka Pregnant Jewel Tiger. Iki tells Sakura and Daiji to leave him with Azuma because he believes that maybe he can change because of a conversation they had about justice. In the morning, the rest of the hostages are trying to escape while the riders find an army of Gif Juniors and Daimon and Chic. And suddenly, the barrier that was surrounding the area collapses. And here comes the original trio of dead men? How they are here? But isn't like Ortega supposed to serve like a thousand years in prison? Well, George convinced Ortega to help him out with saving the hostages and the Igarachis. And as a reward, he would get his sentence reduced. Because George has that type of pull. Ortega is the one that broke the barrier with another Chimera driver with a GIF eye. Because he stayed in GIF's stomach for so long, he has a lot of GIF cells in him. Anna wanted to keep an eye on Ortega, and Tamaki is there because he has both of their costumes and he is the best over Demon user. He is so good, he got an upgrade. But sadly, we didn't got a Kamarada dead man. A missed opportunity here. Genta, Sakura and Daiji fight Chic, making this the fourth fight in Deathstream's entire run in Revice. But the fight was really great. We got to see Tricera genome out of Gen, but no Evolity live from Daiji slash Kagero? They are able to defeat Chic together, and then Chic and George have a small conversation that ends with Chic pressing a button that detonates TNT all over the area, while Iki and Vice fight Azuma. In one point of the fight, Iki decides to go one-on-one -on -one against Azuma, by Iki giving Azuma some gift cells. They start the fight untransformed, but later transform and rider kick each other. Azuma is defeated. Iki tells him that he's going to continue to fight for the people that he holds dear. And then they fist bump. And a big explosion happens in the background. Everyone got out of the area safely. And Yume gives birth to her baby. She decides to name him after Nuzumo to end the movie. It was a fine movie. I didn't hate it, but I don't absolutely love it. I thought they could have done a little bit more with the Chimera Driver. Specifically, Kamarai Garashi should have used it. And having a Kamarai Deadman could have been really cool. I believe everybody would hold the same statement that I'm going to say right now. Nozumo was genuinely useless to the film. He has done nothing. He got the living shit kicked out of him by Azuma, and this is it. He done basically nothing. Yeah, he defended a couple of people on the bus, but that's it. Except for that really one great conversation with Genta, he was nothing. He was useless. We could have at least have like two Chimera driver users fight each other. But you know what's the problem? Toy made one suit of the Chimera driver user. So the entire birth of Chimera special wasn't that special. I would say the same thing about Cheek. 
specifically being George's demon and the reason for him going mad in episode 47 and 48, I would have loved to see why really George got mad, but we didn't saw that. George was actually a lot more hateful towards Chick and you don't really see something about his little conversation with Chick that would actually, you know, do something for George to go mad. But uh, yeah, I don't know, that, that entire thing was just unexplained. Now to the positive. I loved Azuma as a villain, as this broken hero that really tried saving humanity, but in the end, he thought that this is it, humanity is doomed, so he just left. But when it came to his own mortality, he decided to go evil. But in the end, turning him good was great. And having the villain of the movie have the same ideals as the writer is really cool. Yeah, it's been done a lot, but it's fine. Some old sticks would never get old. The chimera and the diamond suit were really cool. I don't remember if the mandrill suit is new, but that was cool. Cheeked look cool, uh, Igorashi looked cool. Uh, again, most of the fight scenes were really great. Again, it was a good movie, but it wasn't amazing or bad. It's very much a down the lane summer movie that slightly impacts the series, but not enough to actually get any answers. Specifically, George is kind of like going mad in the last two episodes of the season, or, you know, Yukime's demon. It was never explained in the movie, and it was never explained in the show. So what did you thought about if you've watched it? Comment below, let me know, uh, subscribe, and uh, have a great rest of your day.